is, is free agency a more likely course for acquiring talent outside the organization? Or do you feel like you're still armed well enough to make make tr impactful trades? No, I think we can. I mean, listen, our our people have done such a good job. Honestly, like uh, we've definitely traded a number of good players. We've graduated a number of good players, and it and, and it does come at a cost. And there's no uh, no denying that. Uh, but that said, like no doubt we have the ability to go out and, and make another acquisition if we choose to go that way. Uh, probably sitting here today, I'm thinking more along the lines that we need to get those players right for us. You know, uh, That's going to be a big off-season focus, specifically on the pitching side. You know, our, our pitching program, pitching development program, uh, is going to be a big focus for us, top to bottom, bottom to top, however you want to look at it. Um, you know, the reality is, I think you, you touched on earlier, that the free agent market for starters isn't great. Um, so it, it's just even a bigger reminder how important it is to develop and produce your own, um, advance your own, polish off your own, whatever you want to, however you want to call it. Um, and that, that's going to continue to be a focus for us. So, so when you make a trade like you did for Beltran or Garza in the past, guys who are going to be free agents trade a new, number of prospects. Is there a desire to resign those guys just so you get more than two months for considering you've given up? So I look at every decision separately, you know. Um, it's not about justifying a trade or anything like that. I mean, the, that's those decisions were made for the reasons they were made. Um, you know, we're here. We are now dealing dealing with a different set of circumstances, and that I think you get yourself into trouble. We try to really stay away from that of, of trying to justify a move with with another move. 